Hello, this video will provide an overview for students on how to use Proctor U Record Plus for their proctored exams within D2L. Proctor U Record Plus is a program that records your screen and webcam as you complete the exam within D2L. It is based upon a Chrome or Firefox extension that you will need to download. In order to use Proctor U Record Plus, you must have internet access, a laptop computer, you cannot use a phone or tablet, a working webcam, working speakers, as well as a photo ID. This is the process you will use as a student to use Proctor U Record Plus. First, you'll need to log into D2L, then you'll go to the quizzes area in your course. You'll be prompted to download the Proctor U extension on either Chrome or Firefox browser if you haven't already. You want to make sure that you are logged into your ProctorU account within that extension. Then you'll be asked to put in your access code or pay for the quiz. And then you'll take the quiz in D2L as normal. Before you take your D2L quiz using ProctorU Record Plus, you need to consider the following. You must be in a room alone. Others cannot be in the room with you or speak into you during the exam. You cannot have other technology in the room with you. So you cannot have an iPad, a tablet, your phone, etc. You must have a photo ID of some kind. A driver's license or a school ID will work fine. You should have your room ready for testing. Clear off your testing area so that it is free of notes, books, etc. The first step is to log into your D2L course, go to the quizzes area, and select the name of your quiz. Notice here you will see that you need to install the ProctorU extension. You can download it for the Chrome browser here or for Firefox here. Notice at the bottom of the screen, there is an area for a password. There isn't a password that you need to type in. This is just a way to block it so that you're not able to get into the exam until you actually download the um, ex uh, ProctorU extension. So since I'm using Firefox, I'm going to click here to download for Firefox. Then I'll just download the extension and install it on my browser. You'll only need to do this the first time that you use uh, ProctorU Record Plus on that particular browser, on that particular computer. So we're going to add it in. And notice that it will be here under your extensions. It will probably also add it as a link up here in the top right of your browser. So this little uh, blue owl icon is the Proctor U icon. When you go back to the quizzes area to take your quiz, no, uh, you'll probably get a pop-up like this from Proctor U asking you to sign up for your Proctor U account. So you would want to fill this out if you don't already have a Proctor U account, if you've never used Proctor U before. If you have used Proctor U, either the Record Plus or the Live before, you don't need to make a new account. Instead, you'll X out of this and just right up here in the top extension, you're going to log in to your Proctor U um, account. Just use the one, the um, the account that you've already created. So once you're logged into your ProctorU account, you'll see something like this, which is the, just the general area of your ProctorU account. You don't need to do anything here. This is for if you were going to be taking a ProctorU live exam, so there's nothing to fill out here. You just want to make sure that you log into that um, extension. So now that we are logged into that ProctorU extension, and I might need to refresh my screen, Notice that at the bottom, that password requirement link is gone. Because again, the whole goal of that was to just make sure that you log into the ProctorU um, extension. There really isn't a password for you to put in. So now you're ready to start your quiz. If you see the password requirement uh, pop up, just refresh your screen. And then we choose to start the quiz. So that's the password. Um, message so we'll just restart our screen you'll see a pop-up from Proctor U. you'll see information about getting started and then you'll be asked to pay for your exam make sure when you do this you either put in the access code that's be, been given to you or you proceed to payment you don't want to schedule a new a new session that is for if you're using the live plus so you don't want to do that you want to just simply put in the access code or proceed to payment to fill out this information to pay for your proctor you uh, record plus exam 
So once you have paid, it will give you another set of instructions to complete. So in this case, it's letting you know that you are going to need a photo ID to be able to show uh, before you start the exam. So you just want to make sure you have that ready. So you just want to continue through the prompts. Again, you want to make sure that you're in a quiet testing area. No one else can be in the room with you because it will pick up them talking. Um, and then that could potentially cause your exam to get flagged. So you want to make sure that you're in a room that does not have other people talking. You're in your own room. And then it's going to uh, basically ask you to consent to this program using your camera and microphone to record you via your webcam. And then it's going to record uh, you, your actual image, as well as the screen. Um, so again, you want to make sure that you don't have anything else pulled up on your computer screen. You want to make sure that no one else is in the room with you. You want to make sure that your testing area is clean and doesn't have any um, notes that you're not allowed to have, books. Uh, other technological devices, phone, iPads, computers, etc. So you want to make sure that all of that is clean and ready to go. Then you agree to those terms and continue on. Then it's going to ask you to do a system check. And again, this is going to make sure that technologically speaking, this uh, you are able to connect. So it's allowing, uh, you're making sure that your webcam is working. You're making sure that your microphone is working. And so again, it's pulling all of these things and it's testing those to make sure everything else is ready to go. So I'm just going to keep allowing to allow for all of my options um, to be used. So once I've passed that, then I'm going to be asked to take my own photo. So again, I just want to kind of put my face in the um, alignment here. Choose to take the photo. And of course, I probably should be looking uh, looking straightforward, but that allowed me to take my photo. And then I want to verify my ID. So in this case, I'm going to hold my ID card up to my webcam. Um, I'm using my uh, Gordon State College ID. You can also use your driver's license. So I just want to hold it up um, and try to get it as much in the uh, in the red frame as I can so that it will be visible. And I'm going to take that photo. And again, try to just get it within the frame as much as you can. So then it's going to uh, review the exam rules. So my window size has to be maximized. Um, I'm not able to switch between applications, which means I cannot open Microsoft Word, other websites, that type of things. I cannot leave my browser. So those are the uh, exam rules, just so I know what, uh, what I'm not going to be able to do while I'm in the exam. And I'll agree to those and then I'll continue. Then this just lets you know that you do have to stay seated through the entire exam. You're not allowed to take breaks. You're not allowed to move around um, in the room. You do have to stay seated in front of your computer, in front of the webcam. Um, you need to be looking at your computer at all times. You're not allowed to, you know, look under the desk or look, you know, on a wall because, again, uh, we want to verify that you're not using any other materials. And then you want to remain quiet. You're not allowed to talk during the exam. Again, you want to minimize people coming into the room with you um, because you don't want to have conversations while you're in the exam because that could be flagged as an incident. Then we continue. We choose to begin the exam. And at this point, my exam opens just like normal. And I simply just complete my exam. So this should look just like a regular D2L exam. I just answer the question. I go to the next page. I make sure it saves. So here over on the side, it gives me a check icon. So again, I just complete and move through my exam just as normal, making sure that it is saving and that there are check marks here. Uh, if I need to go to the previous page, maybe I want to review my answers or whatnot, I will uh, go to the previous page and be able to correct my answers if I need to do that. So again, I'm just taking the exam as normal. Just kind of know in the background, this you are being recorded. Your uh, webcam is being recorded as well as your screen. So if I were to open a new tab and go to another website, that would be recorded, and that's going to cause my um, 
my test to get flagged as an incident report and my teacher will be notified of that. Um, if I'm looking off screen, if I'm looking at materials down um, on the on the uh, table, if I'm talking, um, if other people are in the room, again, it's going to be flagged um, and I'm going to not be able to, uh, it, will, it will show up as an incident report. So again, you just want to face forward, take your exam um, as a regular, as if you were in a regular classroom. All right, so when I finish with my exam, I just submit it as normal. Again, all of this has just been a regular exam taking experience. Then it will show me my grade depending on what my teacher has allowed for. And then I'll get another window open up where it is asking for my Proctor U satis, uh, Satisfaction Survey. So I would just fill that out if I would like to. And at that point, I am finished with my quiz. There's nothing left for me to do. Um, if there is an incident report, my, my teacher will be notified. If everything went fine, then my teacher will not be notified and everything will be complete at that point.